how's it going guys today's quick little video is going to be on the xr50r it's a little uh, mini pit bike that i picked up from from my dad recently it's a little 50 cc actually technically it's a 49 uh, 49 cc uh two stroke engine um let's see it needs to be rebuilt the top end is the o-rings are messed up on it so they gotta be it's gotta be rebuilt at least from the top end once i open it up i'll see i'll find out see if it needs the bottom end as well but some of the stuff that i've done to it basically to get it running or to get it drivable is basically i replace the front rear rims and tires um the, the front tires held up really nice the rear one it's back to the old one because the original one or the new one i bought i bought some little cheapies off of ebay and it basically lasted about two hours um, and then they went out uh lubed up the chain did a chain adjustment um also replaced the shifter with an ims shifter um, which i like it i like this thing a lot um but some of the plans i got for it is i want to powder coat the whole the whole bike uh, change the plastics out i want to have it ready for a little for a show i guess have ready for shows take it out put it on the obs ride around at shows um some of the stuff that i've already done uh besides that is i've also cleaned up the carburetor um carburetor on this one was stuck and it wouldn't it wouldn't idle right it wouldn't run right um i couldn't put it on on the uh uh, anything besides choke or mid choke or halfway choke on it because it would it was shut off um, but what I got planned for it for today is replacing the the spring the rear and replacing the springs on the fork to a higher uh, resistance springs I replaced the coil just because this was messed up and then the little ECM I don't know what this would be called um, it's gonna be, it came with the coil. It was basically 27 bucks or something like that. And I just wanted to replace the boot on that because it was broken and I didn't want it to ground out on the head or anything. Um, but some of the stuff I had planned for it, or I still have planned for it, is I had the exhaust. I had purchased an, an FMF exhaust online, but for some reason, um, when I bought it, the guy ended up saying that that the exhaust was on back order and it was gonna be five to seven weeks. So I basically want, told him to give my money back and I would purchase a different one. But now I'm looking into different exhaust uh, to see which one better fits my, my needs. Um, some of the stuff I got here today is I have a, a front rear fork, uh, front fork sh um, springs and the rear shock. Um, I also have the head, the cylinder, piston, gaskets. I have some bushings and I have the front and rear tire uh, bolts. Um, the, the rear shock and the front springs I bought from Faster Minis. Faster Minis, oh, they're they're amazing. Um, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. I wish they would, but um, basically they have the uh, good customer service. I really like their customer service in regards to to any questions that you might have. Uh, the response times the response time is is actually really quick. Um, I wanted to know if that was that spring was gonna work because I bought this eBay one. It was like 50 bucks, um, and it didn't fit. Um, you know, keep in mind that I also asked the question on Amazon, and they said it would fit. And then I try to fit it in, and it's obviously not gonna work here. It's too. Um, there's not enough space in between here for that for that big old spring. If you guys can see here, it does not fit. And besides that, the reservoir, which I don't think it's it's actually a good reservoir because <clears throat> it's just threaded on there. And I think it's just it's just made up. I might open it up. I might cut it here to see if it's actually a reservoir or if it's just BS. But I picked this one up from Faster Minis and it feels the quality is there. Definitely feels like a good quality product. Um, it's not too overdone. It feels right, it doesn't feel too heavy. This one is super heavy in comparison. And I know it's a lot bigger, but the rating is, is the same. Um, the rating on this one, I think it's 250 pounds, which this one, uh, it's a 250 pound rating. So 
I don't know if they were just trying to make this one heavy for, um, I guess for fuel. But like I said, I'm, I'm super glad I found Faster Minis online. I've ordered parts from there now and I will be ordering parts from there from now on. Um, but that's about it. And that's all I got for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys, if you guys want to follow the build on this or if I just should build it on my own and, and not post anything. All right, thanks guys.